Hey everyone, welcome to another free preview of the algebra series which is on sale now. In this one we'll do a few harder questions which are on exponential functions, so I think it's really useful. Make sure you check out the link in the description to check out the algebra series which is on sale now at half off. At the very least, make sure you click the other link and sign up to get your free study guide. So this one has all the topics broken down, gives you a very good breakdown on what to study on what week to make sure you cover everything. So let's get started. Here it says a steel company produces Y steel in millions of tons that can be represented by the equ uh, equation Y equals 10 times 2 to the power of X over 2, where X represents the number of years since 1980. In which year did the company produce approximately 320 million tons of steel? So then 320 million tons, that would be Y. But since Y is already in millions of tons, you don't have to write 320 million. We'll just write that y is 320. So let me set this equation up. So this is 320 equals 10 times 2 to the x over 2. Now they want to know in what year did this happen. What I want to know for now is what is x? How many years since 1980 led to a production of 320 million tons of steel. So basically let's solve for x and then we'll figure out that last step. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide both sides by 10. Because that's the one that's multiplying my 2. I end up with 32 equals 2 to the power of x over 2. Now there's two ways we can go here. One of them is simpler than the other. Let's do the simple one first. We'll do the Less simple one, second. 32 equals 2 to the x over 2. You may recognize that 32 is actually a power of 2. 32 is simply 2 to the power of 5. Now we've seen this in the previous problem. If you're saying 2 to the 5 is equal to 2 to the x over 2, that must mean that 5 is equal to x over 2. There's the only way this is possible, the only way these two will be equal is if they have the same power. Because they're one term, they have the same base. How else would they be equal? 5 equals x over 2. It must be this way. And to get rid of this divide by 2, I'll multiply both sides by 2. And what do we get? We get that these two undo each other and you get x equals 10. The less simple way, in case you didn't recognize that 32 is actually 2 to the 5. What you'd have to do is use logs again. So this would be 2 to the x over 2. You can use log or lawn, whatever you like, on both sides. As long as it's the same base, you can do this. Now there's a rule with logarithms in which the exponent of the argument, the exponent of the inside part, can be brought down as a coefficient as a multiplier. So this can be rewritten as log 32 equals x over 2 times log 2. And log 2 is just a number. You put it in your calculator, you get a number. So I'll do divide by log 2 on both sides because remember I'm trying to find my x all alone. This log 2 cancels this one. I'm left with log 32 over log 2 equals x over 2. And if you put this in your calculator, it will give you a number. And that number is 5. So x over 2 equals 5 once again, which means I'll multiply by 2 on both sides. And I'm going to end up with the same answer, which is x equals 10. Of course, this is much simpler if you recognize that 32 is 2 to the 5. Now I look here and there's no answer that's 10. What shall we do? Shall we panic? No, of course not. Let's read the question again. X represents the number of years since 1980. Ah, there you are. So we're talking about 10 years from 1980. That's when you're going to produce 320. So you just do 1980 plus 10, which gives me 1990. There you are. That's the answer. In nature, biological growth is modeled using exponential equations. This one has a whole story. To determine the population density of a certain type of non-native plant, the number of plants n in an area at a time t, where a and b are constants, is modeled by the function n of t equals a times b to the t. 
The table shows two values of the function for a certain non-native plant. Which equation can be used to find the number of plants in an area at a time? So they gave it to us in a very, very generic form. They said n to the t equals a times b to the t. And given a couple of points, they want us to solve for a and for b. And here's how we're going to do it. First, let's start with the t equals 0 case. When t equals 0, n of 0, they have told me that this one will be 150. So n is going to be 150. And if I put that in my big equation, that means 150 is equal to a times b. And remember, t is 0. Now, I don't know a and I don't know b, but I do know one thing. Anything at all to the power of 0 is simply 1. Anything at all to the power of 0 is 1. Whatever number you want. 3 to the 0 is 1. 109 to the 0 is 1. b to the 0 is also 1. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay? So in that way, I've sort of canceled it out, right? Because now I have 150 equals 1 times a. So a equals 150. So we figured out a. That's our first step. So I can right away eliminate these two answers, right? Boom. Gone. Next thing we'll do is we'll try the second condition. Now, when t is equal to 1, when t is equal to 1, they told me that n is equal to 450. And that would mean that a, which is 150, times b to the power of t, which is now 1, equals 450. How do I solve for this? I'll divide both sides by 150. And I will get that... 3 is equal to b to the 1, which is just b. Well, there you go. I figured out b. So the correct answer will be 150 times 3 to the t. And if you use these numbers and you put them in, if you put 0 in here, you will get 150. And if you put 1 in here, you will get 450. So in case you were thinking about forcing the solution, that's how you would do it. But of course, I don't recommend it. I think you're more than capable of doing it this way, the correct logical way, uh, especially now that we've seen it together. That's it for this video. Hope it was helpful. Make sure you click the link in the description to check out the MSAT Math Mastery video series. It's fantastic. It's broken down by topic, really organized, tons of questions. Study at your own pace, anytime, any place, on any device. You get lifetime access and it's half off now. At the very least, make sure to grab your free study guide. It's going to be very, very helpful. Any questions, comments, suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next one.